you know, I just want to say that the way technology is now and the internet and the way smartphones are, spoilers, especially for movies, are literally inevitable. It's going to happen. Just like the Star Wars movie, Force Awakens. Like, it was a few days before it got released or something. Some asshole leaked um, the scene where Han Solo gets killed by uh, his son. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Okay, I just watched it, but I don't consider myself a fan. And yes, I did go see it in the theaters. I thought it was okay. However, the hardcore diehard fans didn't care for it for whatever reason, but I thought it was okay. I thought it was cool, but I saw that one post where Han Solo is getting stabbed by a lightsaber. There's a lightsaber going right through him, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know? And it just ruins it for the diehard fans. Now, it didn't really bother me because I'm not that much of a fan of Star Wars, but, you know, and a lot of people were pissed off about that guy. Now, this other idiot who leaked the new Ghostbuster photos, I mean, it's like, what the fuck? Have some consideration for the fans. But no. The thing about Ghostbusters is it's literally the world's most toxic fan base. And, you know, I don't want to offend anybody here, but, you know, there's people, especially on the uh, social media platforms, the Ghostbuster groups on there, they claim that they're fans, but in reality, they're not. I mean, some of them are. Some of them are really fans. Some of them are actual fans, but the majority of them, oh, I only seen the movie maybe once or twice and whatever. And it's like, you know, oh, I'm going to post this and piss everybody off. And it's like, what the hell? You know? And it's like, why? Why would you do that? You know, but like I said, it's the internet, it's the way technology is, and the, the closer we get to the movie's release, if it really is going to get released on that date, if it doesn't get delayed with all this, you know, stuff that's going on now with the new variant and everything, it's, it's all starting up again. It's all, you know, things are closing up again, and... If it does get released, you know, we're going to see more spoilers. And the only way to prevent that is don't have, don't have a phone, don't have access to the internet. And I'm, might actually consider that, but you know, cause one day you'll wake up, be scrolling through Facebook and, oh, here's a picture of. The original guy is in a jumpsuit standing next to Ecto-1A or something. Or, oh, here's another interior shot of the firehouse with the afterlife Ecto in it. And, and you know, something like we saw today with the Ghostbusters firehouse and the containment unit. And it's like, what the fuck? You know? And there's no, like, there's really no avoiding it. I mean, yeah, it's okay, at least we know that, but, you know, it pisses some people off because it's like, well, we wanted to be surprised. We wanted to see this in the movie because, you know, when we're watching a movie, eventually it's going to be like a checklist. Oh, this scene's coming up. Oh, that scene's coming up. We want to be totally surprised, you know? I mean, from the movies... um, filming date all the way till now we had no idea that the firehouse was in the movie some people were like oh well maybe the firehouse isn't in the movie or whatever and well 
It looks like it is. I mean, then again, this could have been a last minute thing. Um, but who knows? But I'd say, yeah, that's definitely a major spoiler. And, you know, we <laughs> that's the way technology is today. You know? Um, and my advice is just, uh, you know, we need technology today and just don't have a phone or access to the internet for the next three months. Then we also have the, um, we also have the suspicion, is it going to get delayed again? Are we even going to see this movie? Is it ever going to get released? Um, you know, and I mean, think about it. What do we know so far about Ghostbusters Afterlife? We know the original cast is back. We know... Now we know the firehouse is in it. We know the obviously the Ecto One is in it. We know the original guys is back. We know the kids are going to be dressed in jumpsuit as well as the three remaining original Busters. We know Janine's in it from the trailer, uh, but what role she plays, it's still unknown. And there's, you know, we know there's new equipment and all that stuff. But keep in mind, just because you've, we've seen a major spoiler, oh, the firehouse is in it, of course, everybody is pissed off, we still don't know the real storyline. We know it's the Spangler family, as the director said, um, but we still don't know the relationship. What happened to Egon? How did he die? Um, what is the relationship between the other remaining busters? What's the relationship between Janine? Um, how do the, we know they're Egon's grandkids? Um, what about Dana Barrett? Who, what happened to her? You know, is Oscar going to be in it? Or are they going to mention him in it? Uh, what role does the teacher, Mr. Guberson, play in it? Um, you know, there's just still many, there's still many unknowns. Like how the story, you know, so... Keep in mind, guys, just because we've seen a major spoiler on the internet doesn't mean the movie's ruined, all right? We still don't know. It could be the beginning of the film. It could be the ending of the film. You know, we don't know how this film is going to start. I mean, what would be a major spoiler for me? Like a really, something that would just ruin the movie for me is if someone filmed like two minutes of the intro and it, like i know i posted a fake intro that was fan made okay that was fan made obviously you could tell i i was just i just did that to keep the hype alive and stuff because we haven't heard any new ghostbusters afterlife news or whatever but you know if someone would actually if someone actually leaked the intro of afterlife or the ending of afterlife or something like that, ending of the movie, or the climax of the movie, or something, that would piss me off. That would really ruin it for me. All right? And remember, it's a behind-the-scenes shot, okay? It's a behind-the-scenes shot, you know, and, you know, we still don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it's something totally different, you know? But, who knows? But just because, oh, they showed this, oh, they showed that, doesn't, I mean, yeah, it is a spoiler, but it's not, you know, we don't know the real story behind it. Just because you see Ecto-1 in the engine bay, or uh, something like that, doesn't mean, you know, it, it doesn't mean that's going to happen. So... But anyway, um, thank you for watching. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you next time.